It's day eight, our last day on the Kokoda track, and it's going to take us five hours to get to Owa's Corner. But before we get there, we've got the last big obstacle in Witter Ridge, and that's going to take us about two hours to get to the top. From there, we go down to Goldie River, which is our last river crossing for the trip. We'll be up to about our waist, and then the last 45 minutes up to Owa's Corner, and then down to Bermana War Cemetery, which will really put everything into context. We'll understand exactly what went on here. There's three and a half thousand tombstones there, and um, it should be a very moving experience for everyone, including myself. Well, here we are, the morning of day eight, our final day, and it's been a very solid campaign, Samuel, but let me say this. This is advice for the inexperienced trekkers. It's not over till it's over. We've got a massive climb, a massive climb to kick us off, an hour and 45 minutes, and a big two and a half hour downhill, a river crossing, and then back up. So don't think it's done by any stretch of imagination. I've got a feeling, it feels like I've climbed and descended just as far as I've walked laterally. Yes. If you can put, I know can. what I'm talking about. Yeah. And uh, I knew this, and you knew this, and you knew this, that when we got here, we'd feel elated mm -hmm. that we've done it. Mm -hmm. Not to say we've enjoyed it while we've been doing it, but on reflection, it's a fantastic thing to do. And if we could recommend it wholeheartedly, I wouldn't. If I can recommend it wholeheartedly, the rest, of the rest of the world should embrace it. But you're falling into the trap of thinking we're finished. We're not. We've got a big day ahead of us. Yeah, I, know, I know that, Gary. It's the largest climb to start with. <laughs> so our last big obstacle of the track is Imiter Ridge, and this is where the Australians pulled back. This was going to be their final stand against the Japanese. They had held them off for two and a half months, and this is where they were going to stop them finally. Hold me up for Christ's sake. Good boy, yeah. Oh, it's good effort, man. Go and sit down. Thank you. I've been the slowest you've ever ported for, somebody. The slowest? I mean, people slower than me? No. No one's, I'm, I'm, the, I, I'm, I'm the winner. Yeah. Thank you, somebody. <laughs> this is my friend. Uh, what a star. Carried me the whole way. up at our last steep uphill climb, 15 to 20 minutes Samuel, and then we're there. Have you got it in you? This will be, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do this well because it's just a sniff of the end, and uh, not that we're elated to uh, finish. Oh, yeah. I am. I'm elated to finish. <laughs> I'm elated, I can't tell you. It's been a journey, uh, oh yeah, no it's been a journey and uh, I know we'll reflect and say it's been absolutely well worthwhile because we're even thinking about saying that now. Yeah, and it's just, um, I'm glad this is tough and I'm glad that it's hard and we have to finish. I think the end is right at the top of the hill, so um, that'll be our most recent memories. Follow me, please. I'm, I'm going to, I guess. That's what I've done the whole eight days. <laughs> <laughs>
That's what we walked through. Yeah? That's what you guys did. Don't ever forget that view. People will say when we go home, they'll talk to you. What, what do you hope to achieve out of it, or what, what's the message you're, gonna, um, you're trying to convey? And I guess historically, it's great to do it because, it, as we've spoken about, it gives you a great appreciation for what we've been through. But also, I think it is an opportunity to, to leave a legacy for all the people who walk the track, and that is to give them something back. And the Kokoda Track Foundation is involved in that. We went to a school right yep. at the start before mm -hmm. we took our first step, and. We saw what can take place with the sort of cooperation and the generosity of people back home. And as a result of that, there'll be a generation of young kids who are going to get an education. So I think from a legacy point of view, it's really important. And we were asked if we'd be interested in doing this because we had some sort of recognition in the community, whether that be a, a lot or a little. And we thought it would be a great thing that if we could actually, through the mediums that we uh, move in, uh, that we could actually encourage people to do this because the Kokoda Track Foundation um, benefits by people coming up here. Everyone who sacrificed in this country of Papua New Guinea benefits by people coming and experiencing, experiencing a part of history and we were delighted to be part of it.